Hello there and welcome to Key Stage 3 Science. Today we're going to be looking at electromagnets. So what are electromagnets? So electromagnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field, so the magnetic field is this here. You can see this magnetic field going around the wire, okay? And that's basically a wire there, all right? So electric uh, magnet is a type of magnet in which the magnetic field uh, is produced by an electric current. And electromagnets usually consist of wire wound around a coil, which you can see here, all right? So a wire that's round, wound around a particular coil. Um, a current through the wire creates a magnetic field, uh, which is concentrated in the actual hole itself, um, in the center, of the coil and it just makes the current and the wire much much more efficient so let's have a read of uh, this information that we have in front of us so when a wire carries an electric current it produces a weak magnetic field around it the field can be made stronger by increasing the current passing through the wire okay so the magnetic field can also be made stronger by winding the wire into a coil called a solenoid. The magnetic field uh, that is produced is like the one around a bar magnet. So the greater the number of turns on the coil, the stronger the magnetic field becomes. So if an iron bar is placed inside the solenoid, the magnetic field becomes much stronger. This is called an electromagnet, and it can be used in many devices, such as electric bells, for example, uh, or it could be a, a doorbell in your house, electric doorbell. Uh, when the current is switched off, the iron bar loses its magnetism. If a steel bar is put into the solenoid, it stays a permanent magnet after the current is switched off. So here we have, like I mentioned before, we've got the wire and we've got the magnetic field around the wire. All right, that's a weak magnetic field at the moment. To make, um, uh, to make the current stronger and more efficient, um, we can increase the current <clears throat> passing through the wire by creating this, which is the bottom diagram that you can see, making sure that the wire goes around a coil. All right, so this, the, and the magnetism you can see here is much, much stronger compared to up here. All right, so we've got a solenoid here, got the iron bar, and we've got the wire going around in a coil. In this case, the current becomes much more stronger and much more efficient. And this whole process of actually doing this is called electromagnets, whereby the current is much more efficient, whereby the wire goes around a coil instead of a wire just being straight like this. All right, I hope that helps. Read this again one more time, and we'll give you much more information in this in our next lesson. And good luck with the questions.